What's up, everybody? Hey, before we get started, let me tell you what the topic is. 14.5 million people will lose their homes. There will be 14.5 million homes lost, not 14.5 million people because, anyway, 14.5 million homes will be lost due to the pandemic. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe and share button. I'm going to show you guys how you can make money off of those $14.5 million homes, right? And we're not talking about looking for no new homes. We're not looking at uh, wholesaling. We're not looking at selling real estate. There are going to be 14.5 million homes that's going to be lost due to the pandemic. That's where we are right now, right? And you can go look that up and find out more information about it. But the reason why I'm so passionate about showing you guys about property preservation, because that directly correlates to this business, right? Property preservation. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and share button. I would appreciate it. And try to share this with as many people that you think this could help. All right. So now let's get into it. I did a video yesterday talking about, about your stimulus check, right? So getting money that you're going to get from the stimulus package, the stimulus money, uses to educate yourself, to become better, right? So today, I'm just reading the comments, and I'm showing you guys. Um, this comment came from Jermaine Wilson, and it says, Appreciate you, brother. That's exactly what I plan to do on doing with my stimulus if it arrives soon. Paying for your information is a must. I was a vendor for Safeguard a year ago, but quit two months later because... I was just too confused and overwhelmed on really understanding the ins and outs of this field. Looking forward to working with you. I appreciate that, Jermaine. And that's so true. Like, so many people get into this. And I, I, I you, you can watch the other video where I quit. And it was for the same thing. And it wasn't really wasn't because of the, I didn't know the ins and outs. It was because they wouldn't move me over to the preservation side where the money was at, right? And I didn't know that it was going to be money to be made from me, from it. And um, that's what I'm here. That's what the course is all about. It's showing you guys the ins and outs because even in REO, there's ways to make money. And 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 I didn't know that at first, right? And the same thing with Jermaine. You get in, you're just like, I don't know what to do. You just like kind of turn light to him, just like, what happens now? Right? Because it's kind of like either you know somebody that's in this and they kind of guide you in it, or you just kind of figure it out, which takes longer. And most people get frustrated because it's just like, okay, I got to do what? I got to do what? And that's what this course is trying to do is that's what I'm creating this course so it can be easy and simple for you guys. You don't have to do a lot of the extra thinking. You can just execute the things that I'm saying and that I'm showing you. And then it makes your life easier. It makes it easier, right? So that way you can just say, okay, here's the guidelines. If I do this and this and this, then I will get this result. So that's what this course is about, showing you guys how you can make money. So what is the 14 point million uh, 14.5 million, excuse me, 14.5 million homes that's going to be lost, right? So you guys see me go to the other, seen the other videos where I go to the houses, right? And we're backed up right now, right? We're backed up. We're, it's slow right now because there's so many in certain states, maybe not this state or another state, there are different rules and regulations. Now, there's going to be homes that's the foreclosure process is going to have to, have to be slowed down, Okay. So let me make this make sense. So there are people that were already in the process of losing their homes. That happens every year. That's how it works. You find foreclosure homes every, t every time. Some, there's always going to be somebody not paying for their home, right? And they're going to lose their home, whether it's death, not paying um, the, 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 the note, and they foreclose on the property, right? Now, because of how COVID hit and how people, unfortunately, how people have lost their jobs, and I'm sure you guys know someone that's lost their job, or that may be you, right? They lost their whatever, their income that they needed to keep their house up, right? And right now, as the, the, the numbers that they're looking at, that it's going to be 14.5 million homes that's going to be lost. People make money when this, if this country went to war, somebody will make money, you know, because somebody going to have to pay, uh, have to get paid for the weapons, the armor. They're going to have to pay even for the food that the soldiers eat. Someone is always getting paid. There's no difference with these properties, right? So during the foreclosure process, right, what happens is the bank takes possession of the property until they finish going through the whole process of foreclosure on the property, right? So they kick the person out of the house. I shouldn't say kick them out, but they ex 
they evict the person out of their home, right? Because they, that the law says that they can. And what happens is someone has to clean out all of that trash that's in the house, you know, so they can end up making, you know, anywhere from, you know, $500 up to whatever. So let's just say up to $3,000. Let's just say $3,500 for the inside. And then they say maybe it's, it's dirty and trash and pool and all the decks and all that stuff is outside. And they may make another 5000 from the stuff that's outside, right? So then um, if they say the house was neglected, they'd have mold issues, they get paid two or $3,000 for mold. Then uh, you need a new sub pump, that's two, $300. You need a chimney cap, that's that's a hundred dollars. You need new locks on both doors, you know, two hundred dollars. So you just keep adding up those things, and those things add up. So if the house have cracks in the windows, you know, depending on what kind of window it is, that's another amount of money. If the door's damaged, someone wanted to get back in the home, kick the door back in, five hundred dollars. It, it goes on and on. There's money to be made in this field, and I wanted to tell you guys basically. So say if you spend, let me ask you, would you do this? Would you take three thousand dollars? To make a million dollars in five years. Would that be a good investment? Now I want you to answer that. If I spent $3,000 to make a million dollars in five years. Would that be a good investment? Well that's what I'm trying to tell you guys that you can do. You know I don't want to sound like an infomercial. Like the guy on um, my pillow. My pillow. My... I'm not into all that. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm, ex I'm enthused and I'm excited for you guys. Because you guys have no idea that the amount of money that's about to roll in. If you're into the business. Right? You need to get into the business. It's not going to always be open, right? It's going to be limited. I just got a call from one of the uh, vendor managers that was telling me today, hey, there may be a lot more work because what was happening. <laughs> so we had one vendor, uh, what he was doing, because, again, remember I told you work was slowing down. So you have to be creative. If you don't have systems in, in place and you don't have, uh, if, you don't, if you're not checking every single thing to make sure you make as much profit as possible and do a great job on every house, then... Those guys had to cut corners, right? Because they didn't have a system in place. They just knew that, hey, I knew if I go in here and check and see if it's a roof issue, I'll make three grand. If I do this, if I change the door, if I do mold, that's that's two thousand dollars. So they knew that the, where the big money was at, but they didn't want to do the small things to calculate the small money. And I just told you a few things of how you calculate those small things, which adds up to a larger number, right? And that's what I teach you in the course at imcharlesgives.com. Just so you guys know, just in case you don't know, it's in the description as well. So what happened was I got a phone call said, hey, Charles, you may be getting a lot more work because we had one of your competitors that was in the same area that you were in. They were doing fraud. So I got the phone call. He said, you might be getting more work, right? So this is how it works, right? So I'm excited about it. I already have four houses I did today. And uh, that was cool. Uh, but I think one of the most important things uh, is that he said it's going to be more work. And the reason why it's going to be more work, again, there's another company one of my competitors uh, that were out here doing fraud. And basically what they were doing was they were taking spray paint, spraying it on the wall and pretending that it's mold. And then they will go and bill for mold for two, three, four grand, you know, at a time, each house. And they were doing this at every house, every house they went to, that's what they were doing. Right? So now they sent and they launched an investigation looked at all the houses that they were doing, all the houses um, that they went into, and they were doing this at every house, at least for the last 30 or 40 houses. So the last 30, 40 houses, they made basically say if they average at three grand at a house at 50 houses, that's 150 grand that they got just from doing it the wrong way, right? But there's still ways to do it, and you could do it the right way, right? So you could expand your territory. You could uh, uh, look for the small money, like the small things that adds up to big money, right? Um, there, so there was a lot of different things. Now, what that does, that creates room for you to come in with your business and come into this area or to another area, what have you. So there's always, and as time, as now that it's slowed down, they're able to investigate, look and see what you're doing, look what the other person's doing. And I'll show you how to do things the right way. I'm showing you how to do things to make it consistent and that you can have longevity. So I asked you, would you, if someone told you you had to put $3,000 down to make a million dollars over the course of five years, you do things like I'm telling you to, that's basically what this ends up being. Not to say the courses right now is not that amount. So I suggest you go down to uh, the website and take a look at uh, and see how much discounted it is right now. So how much money you want to make is up to you. How much you want to put into this, you know, there's, the show, there's basically I'm showing you guys how you can do things easier, smarter, 
And at the end of the day, now that someone else is doing something wrong, because you're going to always have people that do it the wrong way because they just want to cheat and do it quickly. And I'm trying to show you how to do it right and also get into this business and be successful. So, you know, everyone that's getting in, I'm trying to that learning curve that when you get in there, you got your first job. Now what? Right. You get in it and you you haven't got a job for six weeks. Why? You know, this is what we need to talk about. This is what I'm teaching you in the course to shortcut your learning curve so you can go and say, oh, now I can go into this house. Now I see two thousand dollars. Whereas before when I went to this house and I went in here and I only made 75 bucks that wasn't worth the trip of my gas right so that's what i'm trying to teach you guys how to shorten that learning curve so that you go into a house even on your first house showing you how to go in here and collect all the money possible not just going in when they say do a lock change you just changing the locks and that's it there's so much more money around that's in the allowable that you can take advantage of that's what i'm showing you the allowable how you can do that how the bid properly how you can push more work into you like you can get more work faster um instead of waiting to the last minute what well, that's all in the course you guys i don't want to keep boring you guys with all the information because those people that's getting the course they're going to be learning twice i guess if i give all the information right now so i don't want to do that because i don't want to have to keep talking about it. i'm trying to give one location where everyone that wants to know about this business can go and learn about this business and i can continue to grow my business and the folks that are in the that are in this thing can continue to grow theirs you know and there's going to be other things that we're going to talk about in this channel but for the most part, I want to kind of make it simple so that people can, that want to learn about property preservation and all that's in it, you can go to one place and get everything you need to know to grow your business. So I'm kind of happy. I'm excited, you know, that it's what I'm saying is, is being proven correct. You know, like you said, it's going to be a lot, it's about to be a lot more work just because someone else created fraud. So now I'm just going in and check behind their work and then doing the repairs because now all those houses that had, um, that have mold issue, now they're going to say, okay, we're not sure if it's mold or not. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pay you to paint over top of it. So that's two coats of paint. You know, that pays well, you know, have someone come and do all the paint for those properties. So it's money still to be made in property preservation, even in a down market. This is, this is what we consider a down market. I mean, this only happens every hundred years anyway, right? So it's slow right now because it's a down market, but at this, and even doing a down market, we're making money. We're making money doing a down market. And I want you to do the same. So when the market continues, market start going up, when those $14.5 million homes, 14.5 million homes start to become available, you're right here when it's going up. You don't want to wait till you get, when it gets right here. And then you're going to start going down. And then you want to get in now. Now it's slow time, right? So don't wait till the last minute to get in this thing. You don't wait till a year and two years later to get in this thing when you have opportunity now to start making money. If you want to make a million dollars, hey, you can do it in five years. That's working slow in this business. So I'm trying to tell you guys, hey, hey, take advantage of that opportunity that you have right now, this opportunity that you have right now of growing your business, something that you didn't think about, you know? So, hey, I think this video has been long enough. Y'all make sure y'all check out, for, wait for the next one. We still got people coming into the course. There's a few, few, there's a few spots left. So if you haven't already, make sure you go to www.imcharlesgibbs.com to reserve your spot, to get enrolled into this class so you can learn the information that you, that's necessary to change your future and to change your life. Hey, make sure you check me out next time. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. I'll see y'all on the next one.